It's working, sort of, almost. It's pretty close. So this might be one of the last updates before. Actually, it's working in production. So this is uh, XCMS fired up locally. Let's see. All right, we got that little fun thing. But the reason I know it's XCMS locally, it's up here. I'm running it in DDEV. So let's hit admin. Admin. Hey, it's your little happy message down there. Move me up because I don't matter that much. All right, so we're in. We've got version 4.1.0, same badge uh, that was generated before, better visualization. Now, there's definitely some issues here, but this list did just load off of the old, old air quotes, uh, hack CMS backend. So, very minimal modifications being needed beauty of headless application development in that way. So these currently I got to clean up, but I mean, all of this data is loading in correctly, right? It says last date, these were updated what the URL is. Um, another thing I got to clean up is minor state management associated not with that. Um, just showing that these buttons all work. I'm very happy. Oh, let's go to dark mode. Um, associated with jumping to a link. So let's say I went to this, uh, or tomorrow site, I have to open it a new button. If I just hit the button, it says 404. So basically just gotta tell Vadden um, the routing information a little differently than I am currently. Also when I hit start a new journey, I have my assets here, but for whatever reason, it's not jumping me address wise the next steps. So again, some pretty minor things to be debug there. You can see it didn't keep my login. That or else it just expired right there, which is possible, but you know, yeah, it might have just expired right there, oddly enough. So um, let's go toggle search after. Well, let's go back to the home page. There we go. Okay. And now we'll search for. Yeah. Oh, that's an and let's go to for tomorrow. So now we're seeing again. Clean up some positioning there. Um, we're seeing that we're in a site in question. We did keep the dark mode over. Got my toggle here, so I can go back to that. If you hate the sound effects, you can turn them off, but they're wonderful. <laughs> um, and now, uh, with or if you recall the old UX pattern, it was over here. Now it's up top to match what the top level is, right? So I go back to sites. It takes me back to this little tap, which again I gotta make the JWTs stop resetting. Um, oh, it's hard to tell with a local dev copy if that's me or a system toggling. But anyway, um, all right, so delete this page. Got to clean up those, those boxes, but yeah, you know, it's deleting the actual thing in question. So I can go to this page. Oh, let's actually go to one that has some material on it. All right, this one says DDDs everywhere. So if I do new page, see, we get a new page there. If I do new child page, instantly get a new child page there and redirect it to, oh, it didn't update the page. And then if I do duplicate, it will actually clone all the material over. So <laughs> hilarious thing about all this, all these changes is that uh, I don't even test, you know, I don't wanna say I don't test hacks, but I haven't tested hacks in this entire last several months stint because we're not touching anything to do with its tag. This is all the operations to get to hacks. Uh, which we've never focused on before. So everything else because of, you know, component and compartmentalization of the way we're doing this, this stuff just works really. The only thing I had to do in themes uh, was account for this bar, right? So that did have some, some login, logged in state types of um, modifications needed, but that was excessively minor. I had all the themes fixed up in probably two hours or so. Um, because we're on very many themes still, that'll be the next thing to question. But all right, so I can clean up, edit those, I can still get to site settings and closing the outline or opening this whole big site outline and change the whole thing from here. Stuff I haven't done this one in a while. There it is, updated the title. Nice, all right, and got things and stuff. We'll update there, clone that page over, hit edit, tap page details, send you away. 
right? So change the title in context or via the outline editor or via this edit details block because why not, right? More UX patterns for the same thing. In fact, that is an excellent example of headless at play right there. It's three different ways of achieving the same exact thing, same endpoint, same data structure. So blow that away, blow that away. And we'll, these will get, uh, this is, you know, in an upcoming round of UX revisioning as well um, for these minor types of things. But the immediate impact was to get the app up and going. Some debugging left, but it's you know, and adding messages, microcopy adjustment. But we are looking good for Hacks Camp, I must say. Big fan. Website's coming soon. If I jog this around, so you can see the steps are under there. It's just not scrolling to it for some reason. Um, and then when it goes to build, I have to change uh, part of the data structure that makes that call but really pretty minor considering we haven't tested hooking this up to a live system in the last four months of developing this. <laughs> it's crazy to say it has been four long months of doing this among other things, but it's almost there. Fancy that. I love hacks and you show up. Good. Still good. good mess. I need to get more messages in there. They should come from an API endpoint. See you at Hack Camp.